Hi, my name's Nigel and I'm from Solar Analytics. Today I'd like to take you through a step-by-step -step introduction to installing Solar Analytics hardware. Before we begin, please make sure you refer to the instructions included with your hardware as options do change over time. Solar Analytics hardware is typically installed in the customer's meter board and requires a suitably qualified and trained electrician. Please follow all relevant instructions, laws and regulations to ensure your safety. Step 1. After unpacking your selected hardware, locate the serial number stickers and apply one to the front of the device. Step 2. Find a suitable location in the switchboard or circuit breaker panel to install the device. Step 3. Fit the hardware to the DIN rail and locate the CT input plug. Step 4. Clip the CTs on the appropriate cables to be measured, taking note of the polarity. Step 5. Mark each CT cable at both ends using the provided stickers so you can easily identify them when pulled through your enclosure. Step 6. Terminate the ends of each CT into the CT input plug in accordance with the wiring diagram supplied and use our labels to mark the cables at both ends. Our support page has a huge variety of wiring diagrams to assist you. Step seven, record the details of what each CT is measuring on the circuit record sheet for easy dashboard commissioning and troubleshooting. Step eight, once all CTs are fitted, insert the CT input plug into the bottom of the solar analytics device. Step nine, now attach the standard or external aerial to the device to ensure a strong signal. Step 10. Then using the appropriate wiring harness to suit the application, single phase, dual phase or three phase, wire the power input harness into an adjacent and appropriately rated circuit breaker. If the harness happens to be the wrong configuration, you can easily rewire it to suit. then simply plug it in. Step 11. Once installed and checks are complete, power the circuit breaker and the hardware will power up. Once all three lights have gone through a brief startup sequence, the device will be connected to the cloud and data transmission will begin immediately. All lights should be steady, not flashing, when it's connected. Step 12. While you're waiting, apply the second of the serial number stickers provided to the adjacent circuit breaker powering the device and record the serial number on the circuit record sheet for easy reference. Make sure you record the details of each CT on the record sheet for easy dashboard commissioning and troubleshooting. Step 13. Take a photo of the circuit record sheet for your digital records and leave the copy in the switchboard. Step 14. Use the live data tab on the interactive commissioning app to confirm correct operation. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to installing Solar Analytics.